love maple. Hey everybody. Hey everybody, I love maple. That's the code word. That's the password. I love maple. I love maple. Yeah. Yeah. Hey everybody, I love maple. Wave if you love maple. Wave if you love maple. Hey everybody, wave if you love maple. Hey, nice to see you. All right, the code word is maple on three. Everybody yells maple. One, two, three. Maple! Yeah, nice job. Hey, everybody. Wave, wave if you love maple. How are you? Nice. Hi, Carrie. Hey, how are you? Very well. Do you Hi, love Ryan. maple? Yes, I love What's maple. That? Mike, oh, this is a French toast donut. Nice yeah, work. Awesome. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. Hey everybody, wave if you love maple. 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 Yeah, nicely done. Your check is in the mail. Everybody yell the code word. Maple. I love maple. What? It's, ah, we need Texas. we need one of those, <laughs> but only one. <laughs> and who they are for the people of the Vermont National Guard. And now we have this year's. Maple Festival Parade sponsor, People's Trust Company. As we all know, the bank with a heart. People's Trust Company is proud to sponsor the Vermont Maple Festival Parade. For over 135 years, they've helped shape the community by meeting the needs of the people and businesses in this part of Vermont. It could be said, banking with People's Trust Company is an investment in our community. And now we have representing Sheriff Roger Langevin, Deputy Carrie Andalay, and also the St. Albans Chief of Police, Maurice Lamont, followed by the St. Albans City Fire Department. Joining us 
today is Governor Phil Scott and Secretary of Agriculture Anson Tennis. I want to thank both of you for making the trip up to St. Albans today. Thanks for all you do for the great state of Vermont. especially with its history. Next, we have the city of St. Albans. Very proud to... And the city of St. Albans welcome, welcomes everyone to our beautiful downtown and to the return of the Vermont Naval Festival. Next, we have Handy Cars, one of our proud sponsors. And some more from Handy Cars. Spent some time at Northwestern Counseling and Support Services last year, 
uh, working with some incredible uh, child care. We have the R Family Dojo, which is a karate school located here in St. Albans. marching band.
have the Franklin Grand Isle Bookmobile. They are a mobile library and literacy organization in northwestern Vermont. The Bookmobile travels around the region bringing books and stories to families throughout Franklin and Grand Isle counties. We encourage young readers to develop the skills they need to become lifelong learners and develop a love of books and stories. Next, we have Christina Nolan for U.S. Senate. And now we have Vermont Senators Randy Brock and Corey Perrin. Lynn Dickinson for representative. And we have Bartley for Vermont House. Party float. Next, we have Joe Benning for Lieutenant Governor. Vermont State Senator Joe Benning, a Republican representing Caledonia Senatorial District, is here today as a candidate for Lieutenant Governor, riding his 2016 Harley Davidson CVO Limited and accompanied by some friends. He has served in the Senate since 2011. He is a past chair of Vermont's Human Rights Commission and is moderator of the town of Linden for 10 years and resides in Lindenville. Thank you for being here today, Joe. Next, we have Community Bank. Community Bank is honored to participate in the St. Albans Maple Festival Parade this year. In addition to serving the financial needs of their customers, Community Bank is dedicated to serving the communities where they work and live through volunteerism, financial support, and community involvement. The St. Albans branch is deeply invested in their community and are excited to join their neighbors today at the Maple Festival Parade. We have the Hannaford Fife and Drum Corps. Hannaford Fife and Drum Corps is based out of St. Albans, Vermont. They are named after Captain Nathaniel Hannaford, a drum major in the War of 1812. This corps was created to keep the history of America alive through music. Next, we have Thayer for Vermont. 
Gregory Thayer of Rutland, a candidate for Vermont Lieutenant Governor. He is a constitutional Republican and has campaigned about We the People. You can contact his campaign at ThayerForVermont.org and he thanks you. of Enosburg Falls. For those of you that have been there, it's a magnificent venue. And if you haven't, you definitely will want to take in some sort of an event there in the future. Next, we get on air with Star 92. Star 92.9, the home of Mike and Mary, playing the 90s to now with all your favorite hits. We love Vermont Maple and thank you for supporting local and using this Vermont gold to sweeten your favorite delicacies. Mike Zarney, yes. <laughs> Next, we go from auto to brewery and meals, progressive auto sales and Mill River Brewery. Purchase your vehicle and then make your way to Mill River for a great evening. Next we have Casella. No, this is the next. Progressive? Oh, the Progressive Park, got it. These. These are the vehicles that you'll drive to Mill River to enjoy your meal. My gosh. What is the announcer thinking? Okay, next, the Electric Youth Dance Company. The Electric Youth Dance Company is celebrating 33 years of teaching the joy of dance to our local communities. They offer tap, jazz, hip-hop, contemporary, modern, musical theater, and more. Come join in on the fun with our professional dance educators and check out our summer camps at electricyouthdance.com. Next, we have Reddick for Congress. Erica Reddick is a candidate for the United States House of Representatives. The theme of Reddick for Congress spoke is tapping the parent power, and Vermont Maple is the best in politics. The float advocates and celebrates families in Vermont because she is an advocate for Vermont families. Reddick for Congress highlights and celebrates the importance of parents involved in their children's education. And next we have 
Franklin County Right to Life. The Franklin County Right to Life Committee was formed in 1984 as a local chapter for the Vermont Right to Life. Our stated goal is to achieve universal recognition of the right to life for every human being from conception to natural death. Okay, next, the Vermont Dairy Festival and Enishburg Lions Club. We are the Vermont Falls Lions Club and Vermont Dairy Festival Clown Unit, here to support the maple industry and the Vermont Maple Festival. We invite all festival goers to come to join us for the 66th Vermont Dairy Festival this June 2nd through the 5th. Okay, now next we have Casella, which I'm sure everyone is familiar with Casella, whether it has to do with garbage, recycling, resorting, the environment, Casella. things around the home. Guess who you call? Front, smooth, jump, and move it. We are a veteran-founded company. We employ veterans and non-veterans. We are experts in junk removal, moving, yard cleanup, and more. Whether you're residential or commercial, we do it all. We do the hard work with a soft heart. Thanks to jump. And now we're joined by the Mount Sinai Number Three Motor Corps. Hospitals do terrific work throughout this country and assist families in need.
joined by the Vietnam Veterans Chapter 753. The Vietnam Veterans Chapter 1753 is from right here in St. Albans. the St. Andrews Pipe Band. The St. Andrews Pipe and Drum is the longest continuously operating pipe band in the state of Vermont. And we proudly wear the Vermont State Tartan. Our pipe major, Matthew Burrard, and pipe sergeant, Peg Powers, are ready to train people who want to learn pipes or drums. Just contact them. And now, familiar sight here in this area, the Dairy Farmers of America. The team at Northeast Logistics, a part of Dairy Farmers of America, is responsible for picking up farm families' nutritious milk and making sure it gets to our customers throughout the region. With four locations in Vermont, the NEL team works around the clock to support our dairy industry. Here, let's uh, go through the Division Two winners of the 2022 Youth Talent Show. First place went to Cambry Rose for Contemporary Dance of the Dow. Second place to Ruth Eastman and Talia Brunel, who did a jazz dance to Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. And third place went to Layla Hamlin for a jazz dance, Make a Little Money. And now we're joined by New England Federal Credit Union. New England Federal Credit Union, your Vermont-based credit union with a branch conveniently located here in St. Albans, proudly supporting local communities and members' financial goals for over 60 years. Visit them online at nefcu.com. Reproductive Liberty is a coalition of organizations working together to pass the Reproductive Liberty Amendment, a proposed state constitutional amendment that would protect every Vermonter's right to make their own reproductive decisions. St. Albans 
Girl Scout Troop 30456. The Girl Scout Troop 30456 is a group of girls from St. Albans, Bakersfield, Fairfield, and Sheldon that enjoy working on badges, selling cookies, and doing community action projects. They have hosted a large clothing buy, purchased treats from the Humane Society, collected toys for children during the holidays, and organized Green Up Day, and are currently doing a food drive. The float is Harry Potter with a maple twist. The older girls made the lines to tap the girls' needle and also helped with making clothes. The younger girls designed and created the maple trees that were inspired by Harry Potter's living uh, willow. Next is the Franklin County Citizen Advocacy Program. And now the St. Albans City School Marching Band. Okay, as you can see, kindergarten night on Thursday, April the 28th, hey, from 6 to 7 p.m. at St. Albans City School. Next, we have the St. Albans Elks, lodge number 1566. Next we have John Odom for Secretary of State. Again, John Odom, a candidate for Secretary of State. And he is followed by the Franklin County Democrats. Next we have Maynard from Vermont, and that's followed by Kitty Toll from Lieutenant Governor.
we have Patricia. Patricia Preston for Lieutenant Governor. And now Chris Winters for Secretary of State. And Becca Valiant for U.S. Comms. David Zuckerman for Lieutenant Governor. And Charlie Kimball for Lieutenant Governor. Now we're joined by 101.3 on the dial, The Wolf. 103.3, The Wolf is the home for everything country. We only stop the music once an hour. And during your workday, unless you're listening between 10 a.m. and noon, and then we don't stop it at all for two hours commercial free. And now we welcome Franklin County Home Health Agency, Franklin County Home Health Agency is your local trusted provider of home health, hospice, and long-term care services for over 50 years. Franklin County Home Health provides high-quality, compassionate care in a home setting to all 15 cities and towns in Franklin County. We strive to meet the needs of our clients in a professional manner that promote health, independence, comfort, dignity, and quality of life, and the comfort of their neighbors caring for neighbors. We now have Green Feet Gardening. For those of you that don't know, Keith and Kelly Wakefield are the owners of Green Feet Gardening. They work with the city to take care of all of St. Albans City planners, hanging baskets, and the gardens in Taylor Park. You may have seen them around and keeping the city beautiful. We now have the Shriner Mini Racers Unit. Approaching is Studio Three Dance. Studio Three Dance. Studio Three. Very excited to be back at the Maple Festival this year, marching in the play. We offer dance classes of all types, starting at age two through ten, from beginning level classes to traveling competitive teams. They love the games and have fun, and celebrating everything about our kids and our community.
Franklin, Reno, and Sales Center. We are a family-owned rental company that also does retail sales in the St. Albans and surrounding areas. We cater to a lot of maker sugaring producers with bottles, chainsaws, and cargo utility vehicles, which we are a dealer for. We offer service for all small vendors as well as equipment that they are on. Thank <laughs> you. 
by the station on a Monday evening at 7 p.m. to learn more.
for a parade here in St. Albans, Vermont. We want to thank all of you for coming out today. Enjoy the rest of the uh, activities the rest of the day. Right here on stage momentarily as well. And uh, again, we want to thank everyone for participating in this annual event as we come out of the uh, two-year hiatus. So thanks again everyone, it was nice to guide you along this tour the last hour, and have a great day. Sure. Wave if you love maple, wave if you love maple, wave if you love maple, wave if you love maple. That's a maple colored pooch. Mm. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Woo. He says, I don't care, just rub me more. He loves maple. But that's we heard. Wave if you love maple. Wave if you love maple. Yeah. 